Hi everyone, I hope you are all well. Now you can probably see from the title of this video or if you watched my previous video, I talked about how I had a load of books lined up. So much so I have the next four, that's right, four books lined up what I'm going to read next. Now, as I said, that this is my year to choose what I want to read, but I'm also going to be picking books off um, my poster, my bucket list poster, and I'm going to still alternate. But unfortunately, at the moment, all four books that I want to read right now are all fiction. So you're just going to have to cope with a block of fiction for a while because, you know, I'm not going to change my mind. <laughs> I'm going to stick with these four books because I'm desperate to read them. Two of them are on the bucket, um, this poster, and two of them aren't. I would have thought that one of the two that aren't would be on that list until that poster until I actually went upstairs to my, um, to my library as well and um, had a look and it wasn't there and I was really shocked. Anyway, let's find out the four books I'm going to be reading next. I'm so excited that I want to share, I want to tell you the four now rather than do them each, you know, as I do. So here we go. So the first one, it's a classic that I've never read, but I do love the story and I want to read it. It is Animal Farm by George Orwell. Um, now, with George Orwell, back in 2015, before I started doing this channel, I read uh, 1984 because there was a national tour of the show um, going around. I saw it in here where I live and I fell in love with it. I got the book and an audio book as well and I listened to and read the book and was so blown away by it. I could not believe what I was reading and that led me onto the radio play with Christopher Eccleston and he also had a radio play of Animal Farm which I didn't really know about and I listened to it and I, I liked it. I've still got it. I've listened to it a few times but it listening to a, a radio play of something like like the radio play of 1984 I really like it I think Christopher Eccles is brilliant in it but at the same time it's nothing compared to how I felt when I read it so thus I want to read Animal Farm this is on the um bucket list uh, poster it's only like 100 pages long and I have a feeling today is Saturday and I'm going to a trip to the theatre and cinema today um, but tomorrow I've pretty much got the day to myself so it might well be that sometime tomorrow I'll be posting a review of this but we'll just have to see how I go so yeah so the first one I'm going to be reading and the order that I'm showing these in is the order I'm going to be reading them in so the first one is Animal Farm by George Orwell now, the second one is one I've been wanting to read on and off for about a year. I've never seen any adaptations of it. I don't know really anything about it. Just that it is an absolute classic and I have to, have to read it. That's all I know. And it's Fahrenheit 451. Um, as you know, I love fantasy and all, you know, all that kind of stuff. and. This I see every single time I go into the fantasy section of um, of Waterstones, but I've never picked it up. And it's just been niggling away at my, my mind to read it. And I went to the library earlier this week uh, to, to look for this and the next book there in my list. Couldn't find them. I was so sad, went into Waterstones and they were both sat on a table in a sci-fi section side by side. It was a sign I had to buy them, so I bought them. The first two books that I've bought so far this year have lasted 27 and a half days. I think that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm really eager to read Fahrenheit 451. There's so much buzz around this book. So many people have said that um, it's absolutely amazing and that I have to read it. So I'm going to give it a go and see how we go with uh, Ray Bradbury. I've never read any Ray Bradbury um, books either. So I, um, yeah, I'm really intrigued to see what I think of it. Now, the next one is one that I've, in a sense, taken a gamble on. I mean, I've been picking it up and putting it down quite often in Waterstones for the past month or so, um, but I've not read it. I've not read any of his works before. and. 
apparently it's it's a classic from 1992. It is The Good Fairies of New York by Martin Miller. Again, Martin Miller, an author, Scottish author. I have never, ever read any of his works before. Um, but I just... I was just so intrigued by this story um, of uh, this guy who basically wakes up to find two fairies, two drunk fairies in his bedroom throwing up on his floor. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> that what? It was that, I think it was that that drew me to it. And I kept, I keep on picking up and putting it down in Waterstones. And um, thus, as I said, I went to the library, couldn't find it. It was right there next to Fahrenheit 451. So I was like, go on, buy it. So I'm going to read in The Good Fairies of New York by Martin Miller. And the final one, it's a mammoth one. It's a book that people dread to read. It's It has the same feeling as War and Peace. I got through War and Peace and I loved it. I got through Anna Karenina and I loved it. So I'm going to get through this. It's Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. I've never actually read any Victor Hugo before. I did try to start reading this when I was in university, but studies got in the way and I just put it down and I never picked it up since. And the drama is on at the moment on BBC, which I am loving. As you know, as you guys know, I adore the musical. I've got like five different versions on my phone of the musical. Um, the Roger Allen BBC4, Radio 4 um dramatization from 2001 is superb i love that and i've been obsessively listening to all the musical soundtracks and that uh, roger allen drama for the past five weeks uh, throughout the five episodes of lame as rab that have aired so far tomorrow is the final episode and then we have to wait three weeks for the blu-ray to come out and i'm like Ugh, um why does it have to be three weeks but it is it's three weeks um so i and it's just making me want to read i've got real thirst to read it and so I am going to read this bad boy. Um, so I'm going to be reading Les Miserables. So those are the next four books I am going to be reading. Animal Farm, Fahrenheit 451, The Good Fairies in New York and Les Miserables. And I am so, so, so excited. Um, so I will be back uh, to give my review of Animal Farm as soon as I'm done. As I said, it might probably might not take long. Um, we'll just have to see how I go. And I will let you know what I think. All right, guys. Bye.